Hey, what's up guys? This is Charmful Peace back with yet another Redstone video. Now, this this time here, we are going to be doing a cooked chicken farm. And this cooked chicken farm, I will take no credit for it all. I th this one I actually grabbed from Mumbo Jumbo, which as you if you know, if Mumbo Jumbo is one of the major Redstone YouTubers that I that I always watch and I look up to highly. Uh, but anyway, onto the chicken farm. I figured, well, I, I made this a couple times in the server that I play on, and so I figured I'd make a video showing you guys how to make it. I don't know if I can explain it better than Mumble Jumbo, but here we go. Now, I got it broken down into three stages, which are layers. It has three layers total. Well, technically, three and a half, because of the half slabs. But, it doesn't take up much room. It is, in total, two blocks wide and six blocks deep. And, as I said before, three and a half blocks high. So, it doesn't it doesn't take up that much, and it doesn't require that much tools. Case in point, right here. Or, er, items. It requires two dispensers, two redstone dust, one comparator, one redstone tor two redstone torches, two hoppers, a half slab of your choice, a chest, and a block of your choice. And the glass and the carpet are optional based on how you want to make it. But anyway, let's start off with getting the basic uh, farm done. Now first, what you want to do is you want to place down a chest, a hopper going into that chest, and three blocks from that hopper. You want to place your block, or you want to place a block, and a comparator going out. That's the first layer. And then for the second layer, you want to place a ha the half slab of your choice right on top of that hopper. Two blocks behind, you want to place a temporary block up like that and place your dispenser there going into the half slab and then behind, into that hop, into that dispenser you want to place a hopper and then you go around to the comparator place the block of your choice right there and then redstone torch on the side of that on the side of that redstone torch place another block and then another redstone torch and then to finish off this layer, we're going to add a block onto the side of that dispenser. And that's the second layer done. And the third layer, we're going to add another dispenser. And then we're going to place redstone dust on top of these two blocks. That one stays empty. And then that is pretty much the second layer. Aside from adding block here, which starts up a redstone which dress up a burnout, a small burnout clock, and then a block there. And right there, that is pretty much it done, believe it or not. All that's left is just filling it in, and we'll get right to that right now, before we move on to discuss the other, the temporary blocks, or the uh, optional blocks that I pointed out. So right there, boom, 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 boom. All right, and there we go. And now the first optional block that you will place would be the carpet, and that you will place right here. And let's just not forget to place a block here. But the reason why I say that this carpet is optional is because when I built it this couple times, I haven't, I didn't really find that it made a difference whether you have the carpet there or not. But it's pretty much, it's just for aesthetics, I guess. Because, yeah. And, and this is where you will be putting the chickens. So, what you want to do is you want to place these half slabs right there so that they don't escape while you're putting them in. And then the second optional block is the glass. And that's because you can have this however you want. You can have it 
hidden away and then just a hopper system going into chests in your storage area but if you're gonna have it built into the side of the mountain on display or whatever or into the side of your corridor in your base you're gonna want to have the glass there so that you can see it and then you grab the stu grab the chicken and that from the chest but and then next thing you want to do before anything else I f sorry I forgot to mention this actually we lost that you want to grab a lava bucket and place it in the top dispenser now I'm going to explain how this works the chickens that will go in here are going to be chickens that will stay you're going to want to spam a, a whole bunch of eggs in here fill it right up until you can't hear anything but the chickens <laughs> just put as many as you want in there but pretty much how it works is is the chickens is that are that will be there will drop will, will drop eggs the chickens drop eggs i believe it's every 5 minutes and when they drop the eggs the eggs will go into the hopper and the hopper will send them into the bottom dispenser and when the eggs go into the hopper they will also cause a redstone signal they will, they will also cause the comparator to send a redstone signal into this block which will turn off this red, redstone torch turn off this redstone dust and turn these two on and and that will pretty much send a short pulse a short redstone pulse into both of these dispensers which will cause the, the top dispenser to drop to, to quickly drop and pick up the lava and the bottom dispenser will shoot out the eggs eggs onto the onto the half slab and the method behind that is that baby chickens are on, are are less are either half a block or less than half a block tall i can't remember exactly and the lava will not fill in that half a block so so so, so those chickens will be safe until they grow up once they grow up th th they will be more than half a block tall which will mean that they will be e which means that they will be e in that block area there and so when the lava is dispersed there it will set the ch those chickens on fire they will burn and they'll drop their cooked chicken and that is pretty much the, the science behind it all and as you can see here I have a whole bunch of chickens in this one and then once you get that done what you might want to do is make a sorter sorting system for it and this one here I pretty much got the basics so I got cooked chicken I got the feathers and I got extra eggs in case any drop for some reason and but yeah and then yeah if you guys want to see a video on how to make this sorting system I got a little set up here it total it is two three six seven it is seven blocks deep and then however many blocks long you want it but this sorting system here is a he is a uh, is a uh, uh, anti overflow automatics so item sorter and this is this is working pretty good I got the different things in here but anyway yeah if you guys would like to see a video on how to make this leave a leave a comment down below if you would like to see more vi restaurant videos like this leave a like and be sure to subscribe so that I know uh, and with that being said I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.